The principle of a four point grid system is using a grid system that's set up by a multiple of four. Now what I mean by that is something relatively similar or not if exactly the same as your four times table. So we look at things like four, eight, 12, 16, and so on. And we use this for layout, padding, margin, or spacing as we may call it as well, in order to design products or apps or websites. You know, you get the gist. If you're new to product design and wondering how you space out your designs, then this is definitely the video for you. In this video, I'll show you the benefits of using a four point grid system and how to set it up in Figma. If you're new here, hi, what's up? I'm Gemma and I'm a senior product designer who share tips about UX for free. If that's something you're interested in, then why not hit the subscribe button, turn on notification bells, get notified every time I upload a new video. With that said, let's get on with the video. Why designers should be using a grid system. I have done a video on this previously on the eight point grid system. If that's something you're interested in, then I highly recommend you check out that video first before checking out this one, because it will explain more about the reasons why you should be using a grid system. And it goes into a little bit more detail over in that video. But if you have watched that video already, that's okay. Cool. Stay on this one because today we're going to be talking about the four point grid system. Why multiples of four? So just like the eight point grid system, using a four point grid system allows us to design for apps and websites in a scalable and consistent manner. The only difference is four gives us a little bit more of that granular spacing. There is no right or wrong answer for what system you should be using when designing. Uh, you should just always be using some sort of grid system. Some designers prefer to use four just because it gives you that little bit more granular effect and some like to use eight. Some developers actually prefer using eight because they don't have to set up multiple different versions of spacing or margins or patterns. And some designers prefer to use the four because it gives them a little bit more of a granular touch so you can put more things closer together. With that said, let's jump into Figma and see how you set up a four point grid system. So let's take a look in Figma and here is a four point grid system. Now, like I said before, there is a lot more spacing involved in this one compared to the eight. This is why some designers prefer to use this all built around something like your four times table. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, and so on. Because 48 is not going to be big enough to do some other big spacing when it comes to web design. So again, it starts off at a granular size, which is the four, and then it goes up within the multiples of four in order to hit some sort of bigger spacing. Now, again, I have only gone up to 100, but we can add a little bit more. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. I had to check my maths. In my last video, I made a mistake. Checking my maths in this video. So you can go even bigger than 100. Again, you just keep adding four in order to get that little bit more bigger spacing. So for this, it would be 104, 108, and so on. So these are your spacings. And then this is what your layout will look like. So I've got different versions here. So we have desktop, we have tablet sizes, and then we have small mobile. If we open up this, it is saying that we have 12 columns and within this column, we have a 96 margin, which is down the side, and then 24, which is the gutters. So to put this into context, this will be 98, this will be 98, and then in between here will be 24. Now you use these guides in order to set up your spacing. And again, I have gone over this in a previous video, which is the eight point grid system. So if you want to get a bit more detail, head over to that video. And then in here as well, we have rows. So rows are four pixels in height, meaning that if you scroll in every one of these little lines is four pixels in height. Now, the reason why I like using rows is because it saves me counting when I want to do some spacing. If I, let's say for instance, wanted to delete that one, bring that one down, it is now four pixels between them. 
And the reason why I do this is because it just saves me from counting. So if I wanted more, I just add another one and then, you know, I just move them down and then it'll just give me a consistent spacing every single time. It just saves me counting. And then if we have a look at tablet, these have been set up as well. So again, they have 12 columns. They have 24 pixels of margin now. So down here is now 24 and we've changed the gutters to 16. Now the reason why I've done this is because obviously the ones for desktop are re relatively large and this is a smaller screen now so we just made them a little bit more smaller and again when we go down to mobile we have 16 pixels of margin which is side by side and then we also have the 16 in between as well and these are your basic setups for a four point grid system. Now let's take a look at this and how it looks like in reality. So I do have some designs set up within Figma just to give you an idea of how this looks. Again, I'm sticking to the spacing and then over here then we have we have a design for desktop and you know we can scroll down and you can see the design as you're going through. And then we did the same for tablet and then the same for mobile. So I am using the layouts and rows as you can see here. But if we start clicking into this and looking at the auto layout, we are now following this system. So first of all, we have 60 pixels of spacing at the top and then we have 96 margin as well. This is also being followed within the typography as well. So if we click into this, 48 and 52, which falls in quite nicely. And then it's all spaced out, you know, 36. And then if we come in here, this is spaced out with 12. This is spaced out with 36. This one's spaced out by 24. And then the granular effects come in down here. So if we click into this, we can see that they have a spacing of four between them. And all this is consistent throughout the whole design. So if we click into this, you can see it is 24, is 108 pixels in height. Again, all multiples of four. And then side by side here, you can see it falls into this. Uh, these are also 16 between them. And then down here as well, in the footer, we got 16. Our font size is currently at a 20. Again, all following multiples of four. And then the same down here. So we have smaller text here, which is going to be 14. Again, another multiple of four. So this makes it relatively easy for developers to build because they're all sticking to a multiple of four. And like I said, this all follows through onto the tablet and the mobile. Here we have 48 by 48. We have 24 between them. We have 16 and 24. We turn on our columns. You can see how this is all lining up relatively lovely. Again, we have 24 all the way around, and then we have 16 in between these as well. So as you come down to tablet, you start making the sizes a little bit more smaller because you have less space and it just makes it a little bit more relative to each other. Following all the way through, and again with the typography, these are still following multiples of four, but I've made them slightly smaller when it comes down to mobile and that's because it just makes it a little bit easier to fit because if we were trying to put a massive h1 in here which is like 72 it's gonna be too big in order for it to fit so we drop them a little bit in order for it to fit as well and that's why using a multiple of four or a multiple of eight makes it relatively easy for designers and developers to build we do have a figma template that you can use which is absolutely free and it's all set up in order to use the four point grid system there's a link in the description below which will send you over to my website where you can jump over to the community tab and use this figma template for free and that's it if you like this video or found this video helpful in any way then please give it a like or subscribe to my channel or maybe drop a comment below i am really trying to grow this channel so anything you could do to help i'd be super super grateful also offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions as well over on my super peer if that's something you're interested in again there's a link in the description below and last but not least, if you want to follow me over on Instagram, you can do so here. And until next time, bye.